In this video, I want to use some of the counting techniques we've looked at previously and to compute some probabilities. Now, the problem in question I want to look at is to calculate the odds of uh, lotteries. All right, let's take a look at one of the lottery websites. This is a Powerball, kind of typical. Now, how does the Powerball work? Well, you select five white balls from numbers 1 through 59 in a, an area of the ticket here. And then you've got another area here where you uh, have the Powerball numbers. And there you have, you select one of 39 numbers. And then, of course, depending upon how many of your uh, numbers you've selected actually come up, you win certain amounts of money. Now, uh, the website also states uh, the odds of winning different uh, amounts of money here. Now, this problem actually occurred when a colleague said, hey, I uh, didn't get any of the regular ones, but I got the Powerball okay. Uh, why isn't my odds 1 in 39? Because there's only 39 numbers I can select from. Why is it 1 in 61.54 instead of the other number? And I said, good question and nice problem. Okay, so let's take a look at this problem. All right. Uh, let's uh, draw a little diagram here. So here are the regular the numbers, say. Uh, these are numbers from 1 to 59, and you get to choose five of them. And then these are the Powerball numbers. All right, and the numbers are from 1 to 39, and you get to choose one. Okay, now... Uh, let's say for the sake of argument that the five winners or the five white balls that come out, I don't have white here, but supposing we well, here are the, the winners, these uh, balls over here, and suppose the winning uh, Powerball ball is the one here. Okay, and we can do several of these uh, calculations, but let's do the one, let's just say where you get uh, three of of the five uh, white balls, correct, uh, but you miss uh, the, the Powerball, not the Powerball, and then we'll do a Powerball one later. Okay, so how do we calculate uh, the probability of winning, and then we'll state it in terms of the odds? Well, let's take a look at this. So, uh, of the five winners here, we selected three of those. So that would be the combination of the five winners, we get three. Now, of course, we had two losers, so uh, we selected from among the non-winners, that would be 59 minus 5, 54. 54 non-winners, we selected two. Now, the probability of all of that, since we're selecting 5 of the 59, it would be over the combinations of 59 things, choose 5. Okay, now that's the no, not the Powerball. Powerball hadn't been considered here yet. Now, what about the Powerball? Well, the Powerball part, uh, we selected uh, one of the 38 losers, so our probability of that would be 38 over 39. Okay, now... Actually, part of this I can do in my head. This is going to be a 10 to simplify things a little bit. But now let's see how we calculate the rest of this. I think I'd better go get a calculator to do that. All right. So let's see what we've got here. All right. So let's calculate that first combination here. We put in 54. Go to the probability calculation. 54 choose 2, calculate that, that's 1431. Now I want to divide this by 59, choose 5, all right, choose 5, and let's see what that number comes out to be. And then I want to then multiply that by, well, 10 times 380, uh, 10 times 38 is 380. Okay, and then I want to divide that by 39. Okay, and see what I come up with. All right, I come up with some small fraction, but now this is usually written as in terms of the odds, so it would be 1 
divided by that uh, answer we came up with there. And that's uh, 359.06. Right, that was 1 over 359.06. Well, let's see what the uh, website said. Uh, so we did the one, three winners, no Powerball. Uh, the odds were one in 359.06. Okay, now let's see if we can uh, do the, the other one here. Uh, the one where we got none right, but the Powerball. Okay, well, if we got none right, well, we selected uh, from among the 54 non-winners, we selected all five. Okay, uh, and then this, this over combination, the number of choices altogether, 59, choose 5. But now we won the Powerball, so that's 1 over 39. Okay, let's see how we can do that. Bring the calculator back here. Okay, so I'll clear that. Okay, so we'll look at the 54, see if we can calculate all five of those and we're going to divide this by 59 combinations oops wrong one here fifty nine choose five okay. And then we want to divide this answer by 39. Okay, and we take the reciprocal in order to compare with what we got before. And there's that 61.74. So the answer came out to be 1 over 61.74. And I think that was exactly what the uh, website had said it was here, 1 and 61.74. Okay, well, now you've seen how to use counting arguments to actually calculate uh, the prob- a real probability problem. Thank you.